Lady West from the Loud Bells Furniture Sky Live Weather Camera as night settles across Central Texas. Beautiful evening in Temple. HK Dodge and Loop looking pretty good tonight. We've got high pressure building in behind the latest front. The latest front all the way out to Gulf Waters. Now still the focal point. A few spotty showers into the Atchafalaya country of Louisiana and back over into the coastal sections of Alabama and uh, Mississippi. The rest of us look at sunshine. Beautiful day today, and it's turned out to be a nice evening. We're still looking at 60s in many locations. Back to the northwest of us, Meridian reporting 61 now, as is Hamilton, 62 right now in Stephenville and Comanche, 61 in Goldthwait. Look at this, 64 now in Temple, 64 in Marlin, 62 in Cameron, but 58 in Waco, and 59 degrees in Hearn as of 6 o'clock. We're going for 46 for an overnight low tonight. Skies clear, and as we get to a point where the atmosphere is saturated with moisture. We'll probably start seeing some patchy fog around the area. Chilly night tonight with winds very light out of the south. We'll get rid of the fog, but look for cloud cover to linger and increase in aerial coverage across our skies tomorrow afternoon. I'm going to go about 40% chance of showers late afternoon, perhaps as late as this time but as the sun goes down. 77 will be our high temperature tomorrow. Great looking day for the most part, but rain does start working its way back in here and it looks like it's going to be a wet day for us on Friday as well. Now clear 58, 48 is a dew point. 70% relative humidity already. Here's the forecast for rain. Anticipating quarter inch to half inch rains across much of the area on Friday. Friday end of Friday night. We might even see three quarters of an inch of rain back towards Corsicana. The best likelihood of rain is probably going to be from Waco back on up towards uh, the Corsicana area in Navarro County. Setup is a little low working its way out ahead of the frontal boundary. It won't be here until probably Saturday uh, as it comes in cooler air settles in across the area, but we will start scooping up a lot of moisture by Friday morning across much of our area. So another good soaking rain could be on the way for us. Here's your Channel 6 7 day forecast. Where your weekend's always in view, and it's the Christmas weekend. Wave to Santa there. Doug, he's waving at you. There you oh, go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He sees you when you're sleeping. It's kind of creepy, Andy. Yeah. Better <laughs> put some curtains up. <laughs> Got rain in the forecast for it. It's just that kind of night tonight, isn't it? It's been that way all since the top of the newscast. Oh, yeah. 40% chances of showers tomorrow. We jack those numbers way up Thursday night into Friday and linger them into at least the early morning hours on Saturday before things clear out. Christmas Eve Sunday looks beautiful, but a little on the nippy side. It gets colder for us on Christmas Day. Down into the 20s first thing in the morning, and we'll see another couple of days of very cold weather setting up. Next front. Yeah, could be here on Wednesday, although I have some doubts whether or not that one's going to make its way all the way in. And yes, it's cold enough and with some moisture in place, we might see a few snow flurries by about Wednesday. Really? We'll just, just leave it there. We'll just set that there and we'll back away and let you look at it. <laughs> Thank you, you Andy. Got it. Appreciate it. Nick